So tell me your name and my, whereabouts you live in Southwark. My name is Laura Louise Greaves. I came here in 1957, March. Unfortunately, as I came here, I got pregnant. Well, I got married, I come here in the March and I got married in the November. Got pregnant and had my baby in February. But unfortunately, that baby died when it was 10 days old. They said it had cancer, which we didn't know what that means really in those days. And then I had Michael, the following year, Michael born 50, he born 57, 58, I come here 57. And uh, the one that died born 58 and Michael born 59. And that would be right. And then um, I had Andrew, 1957, six, 16 and 50, 16, in the 60s. 50. And Andrew, uh, Andrew was born in the June. That's the third boy. He was born in June. And um, yeah. then, oh, Paul, I forget Paul. Paul was, but Paul followed behind Michael. So it's um, the one that died, then there was Michael, and then there was Paul. And then I, Andrew, Andrew born 1964. But he died just after his dad. His dad died 1985, 86. Andrew died 1989, just after the father. He had cancer and he was 24 years old when he died, yeah. And um, we got through all those things, you know, you just, it's life. And when these things happen, there's nothing you can do about it, but just leave everything to the Almighty. Because he's the one that put us here. He's the one that keep us. He provides for us everything. So when we get, unfortunately, things happen, there's no one to blame. You just have to say, that's the nature of life. And then I have um, Siobhan. And she had four boys and one girl. Well, three of my boys, passed away now because um, we are in March coming up, the 5th of March coming up here now, Michael passed away and he would be, Michael was the eldest of the boys and he would be 63 and the um, third on the March, 8th of March, he was born, he died on the 5th and, and he would be 63 in the march so you know can i ask you about the picture you've bought today oh yes so tell me about that picture you've bought today. oh this is my f first grandson my first grandson by your, father. your first grandson by my my daughter's son okay yeah. this is her this is his children okay and where is that taken where was that taken um i think the father took this the father took Is that in, in Southwark or something? Yeah, I don't know where. They get home. Is yeah. It's at home. Yeah. In the house. Because you can see these back door, photo. right? Yeah. And that was taken by the dad. Okay. Is it? Yeah. Mike. Oh, yes, it's on my flat. What are we talking about? <laughs> That's so funny. When I first came here, I was living in Brixton Hill. Right. And then, when um, I, I had the baby that passed away. Yeah. My husband and a friend, they try and buy a little house. Yeah. And then when I had the baby, my friend came to the hospital and took me there. So I didn't go back to, to um, Brixton Hill. Yeah. I went straight to number two, uh, number 12 Caspian Street. Uh, Gaspian? Caspian. Oh, Caspian. Yeah. Caspian yeah. Street. Yeah. And that's just off the, um, the Wildwood Road, going to East Street. Right. Yeah. yeah. Just out there. Yeah. And I lived there for all these years until the council decided that they want to remodel the place over there. They're going yeah. to build flats for the nurses. Is the place still still there? I think they're going to turn it into a lot land. Right. Land, what the people in. What do you call it? Land. 
when you have it and the people go there and do plant the things and make it. Allotment. 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 That's yeah. right. That's yeah. what they turn into now. Mm. No, they haven't built, do no building or anything. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So. It sounds like you were doing a lot of caring throughout your time. <laughs> Did- <laughs> That's what yeah, yeah, yeah. Did you have any other jobs that you were doing? Oh yeah, well? oh yeah. Can you tell me any jobs that you did? I do cleaning jobs. Yeah. And I work in the catering. Yeah. At ITN. Any and any favourites among those? Yeah. Any favourite jobs among among? I, them? I think yes. I think ITN is my favourite one. Yeah. yeah. Is that on? Uh, that's South Bank. No. The, it's off the right. um. It's all the up. Uh, Oxford Street, um, but it's, it's up more into Regent Street. Right. Well Street leads of off Regent Street. Yeah. And um, Well Street is where ITN used to be. Right. Not where it is now. Right. We, that's where we used to work. And then mm-hmm. after they decide to move, then the window they made us redundant. Right. Because they did not, they changed the facilities and everything was completely different. Yes. Because when we were on Well Street, we always have to take the trolleys out to the different floors with coffee and sandwiches right. and things like yeah, that. Yeah, you serve them directly. That's right, yeah, yeah. yes. That's very old school, yes, isn't it? Yes, that's right. Yeah. And then, we, it, when they come up for the dinner, you're know, there, you know, cleaning the tables, serving. Everybody have a different job to do. Yeah. You know, one, one week, they might have me on the counter. Yeah. Serving. Yeah. And you have another person up there doing the vegetable part. Yeah. And you have another person over there doing the... um. Meat and the veg, you know. When the it's, it's yes, two of us. Mm. One put the food and one put the veg. And just two of you, do and they, you know that? Uh, mm. yeah, just two of us here. Mm. Mm. And then you know you, you you'd have the, sh- the chef when you're running down. The chef would put the stuff in for you, and you just go and take it and put it on the in front of the um tin that we have and the hot water in it, and you just put uh, your little things then down in there. So when that's finished, you just take it out, put it inside the um, cupboard to the chef, and he put you in another new fridge. You should one. remember everything, can't you? No, no, no. <laughs> so long, so long ago. <laughs> yes. Did you enjoy that job? Oh yes, I did enjoy that. We used to have really good times there. At Christmas time, we used to have lovely parties and going to different hotels to to enjoy to enjoy ourselves. Yeah, it was yeah. wonderful there. That's lovely. Yeah. Amazing. Yeah. And how long were you there for? Long time. I remember of I retired with the, the well, just after Christmas, I think they did, we, we left there just before Christmas. We were made redundant. And then um I think I've become sixty in the following year. Right. Yeah. And then I you know, I just I get different work jobs. I used to mm. work at the uh, Minister of Transport uh, mm-hmm. as well. Mm-hmm. That was in Southern Road. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I used to work there too. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Amazing. After the first one, yeah. And then I leave there. And then I do a bit of cleaning around, you know. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I do lots of cleaning because when you have the children, mm-hmm. you kind of uh, try to work to, to fit in with the kids. Yeah. And um, when husband is there, you are out. When when you are there, husband is out. You know, that's how mm-hmm. we used to work in between myself and my husband. Yeah. Yeah, and the children. Yeah. yeah. I've been asking people what their favourite place around Southwark is. Um, what, what would you I used to be on the, I, um, I used to do um, myself and Maureen. We were on the tenancy. We used to have um, take children out, mm-hmm. having parties for them at Christmas time. Myself and Maureen. Yeah, so we run a little club for them. Mm-hmm. Well, we used to get money from this council. Mm-hmm. And then... You, whatever money you spend, what we used to do, we always make sure the receipt we pay, we pay at the shop, we keep the receipt. And then we, in the book, when we make, we book up, we've got the receipt there. So when, they, when we take the book to the um, accountant for him to finish, there is always a receipt to prove the things we bought. They, 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 they couldn't say, well, where is the money, you know? You was, you, was this for an estate? These were for the outings that you used to go on and stuff? Mm-hmm. These were for all the outings and stuff? That's that right, yes, yes. Where did you used to go? What we we used to go all, We used to go to South End, we used to go to... Um, Excursion. Taking, yes, mm-hmm. we get, on a Saturday, mostly Saturdays, really, you know. Mm-hmm. 
and the children when especially in August month mm -hmm. that's the month we always plan for the children to take them on the holidays because yeah. they're they're not at school yeah and uh, they enjoy themselves did you enjoy yeah. it oh yeah yes with yeah, them. Yeah. oh yes you never have any trouble with those children they were really well behaved you know yeah. and the parents would come along some of the yeah. parents and if the parents don't come you can take them because they, yeah. you don't have any pro mm. no problem with those children I should imagine that was really well appreciated as yes well. yeah yeah. And when we gave it up, oh, they're still coming. When are we going? This? When are... <laughs> so we, we're not there anymore now. We give it up. you got different people running it now. Yeah. I said, Could what is it? Was it on a particular housing estate you used to run that? Yes, the Glebe Estate. The Glebe Estate. Yes, right. yes the Glebe Estate. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And, um, How long did you do that for? Oh, gosh. How long did we do that? <laughs> long time. Yeah. Amazing. And then... And then we decided so that, you know, we have enough now. And yeah. the people were moaning and groaning. And so we yeah. said, all right, let them take over and say what it's like. Yeah. But they don't think it's, it's not all that He's You got to know, work with uh, two of you have to work together. Yes. Because myself and Maureen, we used to work together. Whatever, I'm, and she goes to more meeting than me. Right. You see, Maureen goes to more than meeting than me and then we should come and explain to me, and sometimes we go together. Yeah. And we um, try and make the best of it for the kids, really. We used to have, um, in the summer, we have summer party for them. Then we would cook like rice and peas, or plain rice and curry goat and chickens, and and then we have barbecue as well with that for the kids, or they, and with drinks and all like that. They used to really you know, enjoy it. People, when we have meetings, they used to come. I said, this is meeting, but you give them biscuits, you know. <laughs> and I said, all right, come and have your biscuit, right? <laughs> but once I see me and Maureen come in, they're running over there to come see what we have to give them. Yeah, they were nice kids. We didn't have no problem. And the parents was very good too. Yeah. You know. I sense children. that you really enjoyed it. Yeah, know? we did. Yeah. Yeah, my And did you do green. that? Was that... Was, is that, is that something you did when you retired? Or was that something? Yeah. yeah. Yes, yes. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. Amazing. Yeah. So you've got a really long association yes, of it too. Yes, it's been lovely, yes. It's quite nice. We enjoyed it. Yeah. I did love it. Yeah. Doing it, you know. Yeah. So if I was to ask you like a final question now, so where's the place that you most like to go in Southwark now? Well, well since I came here, I've been living in Southwark. I don't think I want to go anywhere else but today. You saw that. <laughs> I don't think so because we get used to, you know, Ian, Ian and all those people, you know, we, we get used to them and you know, we are all right. Because if, if I have a complaint and I can, I can go to, I can explain to him, phone him and tell him what happened yeah. and he would sort it out for me, you know, and um, oh, I'm on our um. The premier, our uh, what they call them again, we ministers, our ministers to what we have. She's the MPs, good. the MPs, she's good. She saw things out for me. And Harry yeah, Harmon, uh, yeah, she's good to me, you know, anything I have to be done. And I don't bother with these people because when you go to them, they don't pay you no mind, so you have to go to the over the head and go to those over them yeah. and explain your situation, and then you get something done. That's what I, uh, that's all I have to do it. So you're happy in some yeah, yeah. Yes. Thank you for bringing along that photograph. It's a beautiful photograph of your grandchildren. Yeah. I, I had really caught, told me this morning, I just grabbed the, my um, diary, my thing here, because I, didn't, I was going to church. And um, I, I just grabbed it and said, oh, I'll push that in my bag, and when I go, I'm going to find something out of it. Mm. <laughs> Thank you so much for sharing today. Yeah, I really yeah. appreciate it. Okay.